exhibition is important to Harwood because it's been a wonderful opportunity for us to work with Kettle's Yard, who have a, a really fantastic collection of uh, Gaudi Breshka's works. We've made quite a bit of progress since you were last year, and we also have some really interesting and important works which were collected by the sixth Earl and Countess of Harwood. So this exhibition is entitled New Rhythms, Henri Gaudier Breshka. This is his centenary year, so it's a hundred years since his tragically short life was ended when he enlisted in the French army and served in the war. So we wanted to construct an exhibition that celebrated that life, but also focused, rather than doing a retrospective exhibition, focused on a particular theme. We chose the theme of art, movement, and specifically looking at dance. Henri Godier Breschka was born Henri Godier, actually, in a small town of Saint Jean de Bray, which is just outside of Orléans, so southwest of Paris. Well, when he was about 15, he was given a scholarship to travel abroad to study, and he studied languages but also business and his parents were very keen that he pursued that rather than becoming an artist. So he was completely untrained, he didn't go to art school, and those various trips that he took when he was young, he started to sketch frequently, and he really trained himself in drawing primarily first. He moved to London in January 1911, and it was really between 1911 and September 1914 that he produced most of his artwork and he was incredibly prolific, so he died at the age of 23, but in that short space of time, almost four years, he produced over 100 sculptures and thousands, literally thousands of drawings, so approximately 2,000 drawings. He loved to draw animals, he also loved to draw and sculpt wrestlers, and he loved the su subject of combat, but apart from that, there, were, there weren't that many other subjects apart from dance and he actually produced uh, at least four dances in his lifetime. One of them, unfortunately, we don't know where it is, we can't trace it, it was probably destroyed. The other three are in this exhibition. So this is Godia Breschka's Firebird sculpture from 1912. And unlike the other two dancers, which we'll see in this exhibition, this piece was a commission. So a patron who was an artist and collector called Julian Lusada asked Godier to make this work and it was inspired by a ballet russe ballet called The Firebird. And that ballet had premiered first in Paris but had come over to London in 1912 and we're not 100% sure whether Godier saw it live but it's highly likely that he did and if he didn't see it live there was a plethora of photographic images from those performances. In 1913, the Firebird piece was exhibited in a really important exhibition of the Allied artists. And at that exhibition, Godier met the artist and model Nina Hamnett. And Nina became the model for this piece, which was essentially Godier's second dancer. So this dancer is from 1913 and like the Firebird it was originally modelled in clay and then cast in plaster but it was not cast in bronze in Godier's lifetime. This is Godier Breschka's Redstone Dancer and it was, well it was certainly started in 1913 so it was begun in the same year as the figurative dancer which we've just seen. This is a fantastic example of how Godier was moving very quickly and very fluidly between observed realism and almost complete abstraction. At Kettle's Yard, we have a fantastic programme of supporting contemporary artists, so we wanted to bring that element into this historic show, and we were delighted to be able to work with a choreographer, Margozetta Dizaron, and a composer, Kate Whitley, to produce a completely new piece. And Kate and Malgozata looked at Godier's work. We went through the pieces that were going to be in the exhibition, and I asked them to come up with a piece that made his work and the idea of new rhythms relevant to audiences today. And it was filmed by David McCormick. It is the first time that dance has been used as a theme to explore his work. 
and we have tried to bring together these three dancers. And the last time that they were probably seen together with all of the related drawings was in the memorial exhibition which Ezra Pound organised in 1918. We're delighted to be able to bring this exhibition to Harwood and one of the key works in the exhibition is the Firebird sculpture which is from Harwood's own collection so it's great to be able to place that centrally in the display but also populate the space with these other dancers that Godier produced. <laughs>